So as Sarah mentioned, flooding is the number one concern here in New England. After an historically soggy summer, more rain could cause some big problems. Now, Worcester is one area that has seen plenty of flooding over the past few months. That's where we find our Ken McLeod live tonight. And Ken, I know the heavy rain already coming down there. It is, David. This is Cambridge Street in the city's Green Island neighborhood. It's one of the first spots that floods during a sustained downpour. Well, I can tell you there's nothing yet, but Ida might well punish a number of low-lying areas in this city over the next several hours. As darkness brought the return of a driving rain, this kicks on. Wendy Rizuski made a visit to her Worcester basement to check on her sump pump. I'm hoping we don't lose power because then the pumps will work. You know, as long as I have electricity, we're good. But a possible several inches from Ida brought a Worcester DPW crew to a dam on the Middle River late this afternoon to crank down one of two floodgates with the goal of diverting water down this concrete funnel and into the Blackstone River to keep it from gushing into the Webster Square area of the city. The move didn't seem to ruffle any feathers. Uh, so at this point, I think we're pretty well uh, ready for whatever's to come. In Peabody, neighborhoods that have seen nasty flooding from two other named storms in recent weeks are keeping their fingers crossed about Ida's visit. I'm thinking, I don't know what I can do, really. I mean, I've moved anything that's of any value. Back in Worcester, DPW crews are patrolling low-lying neighborhoods for clogged storm sewers, but acknowledge that if rain totals are on the higher end of projections, streets closed by flooding are almost a certainty. With school back in session this week, tomorrow morning is going to be a challenge. It's going to be bad tonight from what I'm hearing. Jay Sr. lives in the Green Island section of the city, notorious for flooding scenes like this during sustained downpours. The business across the street has sandbagged its doors, but Jay wouldn't mind seeing the city close that other floodgate on the Middle River if it'll keep his street from becoming a lake. It can be a pain, especially if we have to get out to go to work or go somewhere, and you can't because the road's closed because of the water, but there's really nothing you can do. Tonight, the city's DPW commissioner is warning folks that come tomorrow morning, if your commute takes you through an area that typically floods, you should expect a detour. Live in Worcester tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Yeah.